told us here. Film. You know what she's going to do? She's going to tell us about her fantasies. I don't know, but she brought uh, some uh, perfume. I'm I excited about I don't know that. if that's her fantasy, but I know oh, it's Oh, this Danny's. is Danny's fantasy. Yeah. He's yeah, helping her with her dress microphone. right now. Uh-huh. Wait a uh, second. Oh, Danny, my goodness. You're so, you're so helpful with the guests. Hi, how are you? Welcome. Welcome. This is Candace. Have you met Danny? He doesn't work yeah. here. He just broke into the building. <laughs> <laughs> Have you met Prince Charming? Yeah. He might not be Mr. Wright. He could be yeah. Mr. Close. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Welcome Candace, to have a seat. You smell good. Is yeah, that well, Thank I you. need a spritz. Hello. Thank you. Are you comfortable? Do you need this. anything at all? Can I get you a drink or something? I'm okay. We're not. Did Thank Danny you. take this off you? What is the deal with that? No, I, I brought that for you when guys. When you found out that you were going to be one of the Victoria's Secret supermodels, because they've become such an iconic figure for, for girls and models, what was it like for you? I mean, it's... Still, for me, it's kind of like a dream, and um, I think when I stop modeling, I'll actually realize what happened to me, but <laughs> as well, of now, it's just Tell surreal. us about the modeling. You were discovered. You're from South Africa. Wait, wait, wait. Is this true? You're from South Africa in Natal province, and you, you yeah. are in a flea market. You know all about it. Yes, you're in a flea market. Is that, is that yeah. the real story? Tell yeah, us Yeah, that is that. the real story. Actually, a lot of models have the same yeah. story. I was in a flea market? Yeah, well, yeah. Shopping, shopping with my mom. It always happens. And, and you're what probably happened? how old? 14? Um, this guy just was like, you should be a model, and he, he gave me the contact to an agency. And um, so we, we checked it out and, and called the agency and went to meet them. And then they sent me to London um, a couple of weeks later because in South Africa at that time it was all about blonde bombshells and yeah. I started off very slim and like dark hair, kind of more editorial. Mm -hmm. So um, and what <laughs> you were a kid. How old were you? I was 15. Well, a lot of the girls, and I don't know if Dorothy, you know, because I read a lot of fashion magazines, a lot of the cover girls and things, if they're not using actresses, are younger, like 16, 17. Were you I, scared? Now I'm, I'm 22 now. You old? The girls hey. come oh, and they're like, I'm 17. Wait a minute, you're 22? Get out of the book. <laughs> <laughs> um, were you scared? What part? Were you frightened to, to embark upon all no, of this? No, I was just excited to. I grew up on a farm very, um, you know, very sheltered, so I was excited to see the world. And, you know, at that age, you have no fears. You're just like... Bring it on. Yeah. <laughs> was this something that Steve said you're going to talk about your fantasies? Was this a fantasy of yours it, to model? Once people had started uh, recommending to me that I should start modeling, then it became a dream of mine. And um, Then it just sort of starts happening, and all yeah. of a sudden, one photographer will see you, wants to work with you, you get booked for different... But I remember the first shoot I did, um, it just felt so good and I, it came so naturally to me that I said to my mom, this is what I want to do. When you started modeling and you were a certain <coughs> size, you mentioned being skinny, I remember there were photos that published, that came out and, and people were criticizing how tiny you were. Yeah. And you had to sort of defend it and say, this is who I am. I'm, I mean, I see you here right now and you look, you're beautiful. This is yeah, fine. I mean, yeah. people don't realize how the hours models have. And how hard it is to, to keep a regular mm -hmm. schedule of eating and traveling and being in a thong all day. <laughs> oh, um, oh, I my life too. Do, do, uh, a lot of models smoke to keep their weight down. Do you do that? No, now it's become, I mean, faux pas. Oh, know, that's like people, 10 years ago. Less, yeah. Yeah, in the past, I'm yes. from the past. You but also, that. it ages you, and I think, you know. I mean, for me, like my skin is really important health when we're working so many hours you really have to take care of yourself people who are not, girls who are not eating and that they would never make it through a couple of days at five shooting? in the morning mm -hmm. are you giving advice to those 16 year olds and those 17 year olds yes I am you know I think there's a lot of pressure for girls these days um, and what Victoria's Secret promotes is whatever you are is beautiful and yeah, diff a different tact. You grew up in South in South Africa that had changed dramatically and was still changing. Mm -hmm. Nelson Mandela just had his ninety third birthday. What what do you think of him and what he's meant to your country? Um, I would love to meet Nelson Mandela. For everyone, he's he's just uh, I mean phenomenal and he changed everything. It, there still is a little bit, um, uh, there still are problems. The post-apartheid yeah. feeling is still there. Places. Yeah, a little bit. I think through the generations it carries on, but he changed it so much for us. And So to you, he is a hero? Yeah, definitely.
And to your generation? I is think it a, to the world, he's a yes, generation. Yes, yes, but is it a, a generational in South Africa that people of your generation all see him that way? Yeah, I mean, in school, that's, oh, that's you, nice. you learn about that. And mm -hmm. Did you bring us gifts today? I brought you, Victoria's Secret has revamped their um, body collection, mm -hmm. body care collection. You brought me a bra? No, yes, that's for you. you. Oh, okay. Now, <laughs> this is a real push him up, huh? Like, actually, that's the body by look Victoria. Like yours if <laughs> that's the body by Victoria collection, and it's actually, um, it's it's memory foam. So there's not a lot of padding here. Mm -hmm. It's you know probably the most comfortable bra. Looking they at your have. photos, because so like they the really work. Like because those bras in the photos, you look really booty, and in they person, really do you're work. Pretty, People but always you don't like, look hard. Yeah, get that clean. they're incredible. Is it, these is bras. it memory foam? That's what but does a lot it. of those pictures are the miraculous bra. I don't know if you know. Yes, I do. Do I know that. it? <laughs> <laughs> no, I've been and also, we gotta go. But you smell good, and you brought some of uh, yes. this in. Yes. Um, I mean, it's revamped. They kept the fragrances oh, that people have with loved. Fragrances. They've got like a lot of berries. This one's coconut. Oh, that's my favorite. Thank you. They told me that that would be I your love favorite. coconut. Um, and this one's called mm. Love Spell, which has been a favorite oh. for ten years. Let's see that. That's oh, you. Love Spell. Love Spell. Love Spell. Candice will be at the Grove today for the Victoria's Secret Fantasies and Fantasies. You'll be making a lot Fragrance of fragrance. March yes. four to six p.m. Yay, so that's nice where you'll and be. polite. Thank you for coming. Thank in. you guys. <laughs> Thank you. Lovely Great to meet you. Great to meet you too. Very nice. All right, the. Uh,